Yeah. Hi guys. So, look at this next question now. This next question is about uh, PhD. Okay. And uh, people generally get, get gets confused in such question because there's a cycle, there's a motorcycle. Okay. There's a car also. Okay. And people get a bit confused in such questions, right? So we'll just see. Uh, just solve with a cool head. This kind of questions are very doable, right? Let's see. So it says that a cyclist starts from a point A. Let's say this point A here at 9 a.m. So cyclist is starting. So cyclist is starting at 9 a.m. Okay, and heading towards point B, which is a hundred, which is hundred kilometer away, right? So let me write here, and this distance will be hundred kilometer. Fine. is 100 kilometer right the cyclist is starting from here and this distance 100 kilometer okay uh, it says that a car starts from point a there's a car also let's draw a car a here there's a car here so car starts from point a at 10 am so car is starting from same point at 10 am and heading towards point b at a speed of 25 kilometer per hour so the speed is given so things becomes a quite easier for me so 25 kilometer per hour the car overtakes the cyclist at 10.40 a.m., right? So, you can just see that at it starts at 10 a.m., right? So, till 10.40 a.m., okay? So, till 10.40 a.m., how much car will move? So, by 10.40 a.m., the car will move by in 40 minutes. So, speed of car is 25 km per hour. So, in 60 minutes, car can move 25 km. That is in one hour. So, in 40 minutes, car will remove how much you can just do it mentally right from 60 to 40 one third is reduced okay 60 to 40 one third is reduced so 25 to 20 25 one third of 25 will be reduced right so it is one third of 25 it is 8.33 so 8.33 reduced means becomes 16.33 kilometer sorry 16.67 kilometer or 16.67 kilometer is also written by as 50 by 3 kilometer right so that is basically 25 minus 25 by 3. It becomes uh, 50 by 3 kilometer. The same thing, right? So what you want to say here is in this 40 minutes, car has moved to a distance of 40, uh, 50 kilometer, 50 by 3 kilometer. So in this 40 minutes, car has moved 50 by 3 kilometer. That's fine. Now I can also, also get it in this, uh, where, where is cyclist at 10.40 a.m., right? So in where is cyclist at 10.40 a.m.? So at 10.40 a.m. cyclist is again at this point because car is uh, car overtakes the cyclist, right? Basically the cyclist will also be at the same point. So when cyclist is also at the same point, right? So in one, I can see that from here to here, the distance is how much? 50 by 3 kilometer. So cyclist has also moved a distance of 50 by 3 kilometer, right? So in, in one hour, 40 minutes, that is in one hour, 40 minutes the cyclist has covered a distance of uh, 50 by 3 kilometer okay so in one hour 40 minutes for a minute cyclist has covered 50 by 3 kilometer one hour 40 minutes means one hour 2 by 3 hours so 40 minute is 2 by 3 so one hour plus 2 by 3 becomes 5 by 3 so in 5 by 3 hours cyclist has moved 50 by 3 kilometer so in one hour cyclist will move how much 50 by 3 into 3 by 5 that is equal to 10 okay so in one hour cyclist will move 10 kilometer therefore a speed of cyclist will be how much 10 kilometer per hour okay so a speed of cyclist we got here is 10 kilometer per hour that's a good point right so speed of cyclist i got right now a motorist starts from point b at 11 am so now there's a third person here motorist he starts from point b at uh, 10 40 a.m. sorry uh, point b at 11 a.m. so starts point b at 11 a.m. and crosses this cyclist at 1 p.m. okay so i don't know the speed of motorist right but i need, need i know the speed of cyclist so in cyclist started started from this point at 9 a.m. so from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. right so from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. in this four hours in this four hours cyclist will move how much a speed of cyclist is 10 km per hour so in this 4 hours cyclist will move 40 km that means this total distance was 100 40 he has moved so from here to here 60 distance is left okay 60 km is left 
right so now motorist has started from this point at 11 am and at 1 pm it has crossed his cyclist right okay that basically in two hours motorcyclist uh, has traveled uh, this uh, 60 kilometer right so in two hours motorcyclist has traveled 60 kilometer so a speed of motorcyclist will be 60 by 2 that is 30 kilometer per hour then when the speed is 30 kilometer per hour so in how much time he reach point a so from b to a it he has to cover a distance of 100 kilometer so at the speed of 30 kilometer hour distance of 100, 100 kilometer time is distance by a speed 100 by 30 that is equal to 3 1 by 3 hours that is equal to 3 hours and 1 by 3 of an hour is 20 minutes so 3 hours and 20 minutes is the answer okay so typical question right basically in the you have got uh, you can make few mistakes in such question where you see two three parameters moving on a on a single track so just take it easy these questions are very soluble right okay